So I'm an abstract painter and a sculptor and special effects artist. Uh, most of the special effects work I do is, is more horror based or uh, it's supposed to be scary. Uh, monsters and you know, demons and uh, zombies, a lot of zombies, a lot of uh, vampires, things like that. Mainly trying to appeal to the haunted house slash theme park industry with those. Uh, trying to develop a line of them. Um, and, and that's kind of the core of what I do. And then I'll take on other projects that relate or don't relate. I'll do cute stuff, I'll do, you know, whatever. But that, that's the main thing you'll notice at my studios, the horror and drippy gore. So as a, as a painter, I mainly work uh, with abstraction. Uh, I'm very committed to pushing it as hard as I can. I'm always trying new things. I hesitate to say I'm a formalist, but that tends to be what I'm doing. Uh, I work with color and form. Um, I have a very layered approach. Uh, I'll start with a painting that's very gestural and kind of what people think of as like abstract expressionism. And as I go, it'll get densely layered with whatever's at hand, I don't know. I mean, I, I use more paint, I'll use uh, paper, I'll use just all kinds of materials. So in the end, I always wind up with something that's had a lot of cover-ups and washes and, and there's a lot of history under there and a lot of, lot to read and a lot to see. So that's usually my approach. I'm not, I don't wanna just do a quick painting and be done with it. I wanna live with it and work on it till I'm satisfied and satisfied that I have pushed it further than the last painting. My parents have kind of told me that when I was little, I you know I started drawing when I was two, and then my earliest memories are of me either sculpting or drawing or painting. Then you know I'd, I'd take every class I could take, and um, starting very early, I just there was a certain point like I think by first grade when when a teacher or somebody would ask me, an adult would ask me, oh what do you want to be when you grow up? I stopped saying like oh I want to be an artist, and it was more I am an artist. I uh, went through the Saturday classes at CCAD starting in kindergarten or first grade and didn't stop till I was uh, out of high school. And I went to Fort Hayes for their fine arts program and then went to CCAD for undergrad. So I'm the opposite of an outsider artist, I guess. <laughs> so I, I feel like I'm an artistic split personality. The things that I do are so different and the mindset for each one is so different. I've noticed and it's, I've been doing them for years and I didn't really start noticing until maybe the last year or so, but uh, when I'm painting, I never listen to music. Uh, when I'm sculpting, I do. When I'm painting, I'm usually very up on top of it. Uh, when I'm sculpting, I tend to bounce around more, be more physical. The things I think about even down to, like there are times when I'm painting, I'm like, ah, I never want to go to my other studio and sculpt again. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing that. And then there are times I'm sculpting, I'm like, I don't know why I bother with the fine art, it's such a pain. It's like I'm, my brain is fighting against itself. So I, I'm not positive, but I think I might be d using a different side of my brain for each d different skill, because it doesn't, it's become even weirder as I go further. Uh, and it does feel like I have a split personality. I feel a little bit more stressed out by the painting. I think probably because it was a, Trying to be an art history major, uh, I took some graduate level courses and things. I love art history, that's all I ever read about, sadly. <laughs> but so I always feel that pressure, or I used to always feel that pressure of like, oh, I don't want to be like this guy, or I don't want to be like that, or I want to push this forward. So there was always that kind of like anxiety with painting, and I, I find that doing the special effects work kind of helps take some of that off. Part of me just doesn't care, and they're two different art worlds where people have very different concerns. A lot of other artists and a lot of people ask me if the, the two things, since they don't relate, if I'm ever gonna try to, to meld them, and I just, I can't see how they will ever come together, and it might be best that they never do. Um, and it kind of makes both of them easier. I can pick up a trick from one and apply it to another, or 
you know, they, they don't really relate ever, but the skills all will relate eventually. And uh, it's nice. I like the, the, they both provide something different.